Well guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Granada. And this week, there's gonna be a little bit of this. Let's go into the cemetery. I don't wanna go there. A little bit of this. A very nice coffee with a side helping of embarrassment. Oh, don't know what she was saying there. Nope. Oh, hopefully lots of this. God bless the tapas and all who eat there. Oh my goodness me. And most likely some of this as well. God damn you bus driver. You saw us coming. Let's pick things up as we go in search of the Alhambra. We literally just missed the bus as we got off the other one. Let's go into the cemetery. I don't want to go there. Should we be on that bus? So I thought, oh, let's just walk it. It's 45 minutes. Forgetting it's way up a hill. <sighs> At least we got our hill legs in, in Compota. Up, up, up we go. Oh, we're going up the other hill. What crazy parking as well. <laughs> we want the van up here. Oh no, look how steep this one is. Oh, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Barking dogs, as always. Look, not many people use these steps. Look how overgrown they are. Everyone is sensible and gets the bus. I had a different route on here and you picked this route. See the way she just shifts blame. <laughs> I do. Oh. That's the bus we would have got. It's a bit late for that nonsense. Oh, look at this. <sighs> I'm actually going to go up to the viewpoint and get a view. I'm going to go up to the viewpoint and lie down. I guess one of the really nice things about taking the um, human powered way up is you get some beautiful views along the way, not least allowing us to catch our breath. Well, that walk up wasn't too bad at all, but no, half an hour yeah. or so. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's only a couple of really steep bits to be fair. It's fine, it's fine. And of course, before we even make it into the Alhambra, we've been waylaid by coffee. Need some energy. And of course we save money on the bus, so we can now okay. spend it on coffee and cake. So we burn 50 calories walking up a hill, add 100 calories even at the top of the hill. We seem to have our exercise to weight ratio a little bit off kilter. A very nice coffee with a side helping of embarrassment. The waitress's English was very good, so I was like, uh, to inglés, uh, muy bueno. And she was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm from Ireland. <laughs> and now it's time to join the hordes. Looks to be lots and lots of bus tours. Lots of school kids. Oh, just, what, just what Nicola loves. <laughs> and go in and visit the Alhambra. Now, here's a little disclaimer. This is not my cup of tea at all. And apparently it says that you need about between sort of three and five hours to do this. And we've done absolutely zero research about it. So no idea what's here. Apart from the fact that your ticket also has a specific time frame to get into... The Naz Naz Nazira Palace See what I mean? I've done no like research. That. The palace. You have to actually book your slot for that palace and there's no deviation. You have to be there at that time. And that's not till three o'clock. Yeah. And it's 20 past 11. Yeah, but it says three to five hours. So I think you'll be good. We'll stop for food and things. But apparently it's a very good example of Islamic architecture best preserved or one of the best preserved Moorish Islamic. It's because I just read that out here about 20 seconds ago. How you taken, I was actually going to use that as a little voiceover and she's gone and stolen it. Oh, lots and lots of people. Oh yeah, and in case you didn't know as well, don't try to come here on the day uh, because as we've just seen, the tickets for today are sold out. In fact, quite often they're sold out many weeks in advance as well. So if you're coming to the Alhambra, make a plan. Are we going the right way? We're going towards the restaurant. <laughs> going the wrong way. Back up the hill again. Maybe this is why it takes five hours, because it takes two and a half of those to get actually into the place. Haha! <laughs> Nobody knows where they're going. I did. I saw this access sign 15 minutes ago. Well, you could have said something. I did. Well, I see signs as signs for cafes and bars. Oh, and dancing people. No dancing on this channel. Oh, don't know what she was saying there. Nope. We just walked on past her. There's cafe bar number five. I think we made it in. Interestingly, they didn't actually look at our tickets, but I'm assuming they're, they're linked to our passport because they took the passport office. Nicola's just downloading her audio guide. 
YouTube <laughs> little, little do they know the journal. Little do they know the journal. Like ten people who watch this, they now think they're really famous. But hey, so are we good to go? Well, I have a map and I have an audio guide. See you in five hours' time, folks. So maybe it's not just me who is a bit uncouth these days when it comes to kind of touristic sites because we're five minutes in and Nicola just informed me that the audio guide that you spent about <laughs> ten minutes trying to download and find. Yeah, I can't. I, I use some choice words about not being bothered to listen to it because it detracts from actually looking at things because you're trying to pay attention to what they're saying and he was just going on. <laughs> Sorry about the guy. Sorry if it was you who kind of narrated the audio guide for the Alhambra in English. but <laughs> And that was the only welcome section as well. I got about like two minutes in, I was like, yeah, I'm done with this. <laughs> Nicola's not a fan. We've got till three o'clock to bring the end of the pass. pass. <laughs> Coffee, anyone? <laughs> Nicola, another audio guide. Puerta de los Siete Sulos. Okay, so slight revision on the audio guide. <laughs> they do have little numbers by the signs where the things are. And if you type in the num number, you can listen to that individual Jackie section. She's taking pictures, but didn't take any pictures yesterday. <laughs> so it is quite interesting. If you find a bit that looks a bit more, you know, you want to know about, you can just type in that number rather than listening to the whole guide. So I take it back. It's probably quite useful. The guy who did the narration now is going, well, about time you give me some kudos, Nicola. I do this. Sometimes I, I make a snap decision on things and say they're not very good until I fully utilise them. And then I realise actually they're better than I think they are. So I'm sorry about that. You made a snap decision on me 20 odd years ago and you may utilise yeah, me no, ever since. I've been stuck with ever since. So we haven't been in the two big bits yet. But I know exactly <laughs> what she's going to say. And I'm sure there's some people out there who know what she's going to say as well. And after what I said about jumping the gun on things, I'm a little underwhelmed at the moment. What about you? I'm allowed to be underwhelmed because remember my get out of jail free card that I had at the very start? This wouldn't be my bag whatsoever. No, um, I'm assuming it's because we haven't even reached the main parts, but the rest of it, I'm just, um, maybe if I listen to the audio guide, <laughs> it would be better. Just a little bit disappointed at the moment. I'll say at the moment, because we're heading towards the, the bigger areas, so I'm sure that will change things. Place bet now. Will Nicola leave the Alhambra disappointed or not? Too, too close to call at the moment. <laughs> it's a 51-49% <laughs> call. We all know how that bloody went. <laughs> what's, what's my hand been doing with my phone while I've been sitting there? What is that? I don't want you on there. Gilly was on there a minute ago. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Even got that picture. <laughs> That's a classic. Have you snuck that on my phone somehow? Yes, I spent all morning hacking your phone to put a big picture of my, oh my fat head. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. Look, there's more of me. <laughs> I seriously, I shouldn't be allowed an iPhone. I don't even know how I've got that up. No, I don't want a new one. I want Guinea back. There we go. Thank you. No. I lasted less than 10 seconds as our screensaver. So girl, one hour in, are you changing any opinion yet? Well, the palace of Carlos V um, was actually quite nice. And a very astute observation, it's a round building in a square hole or something. It's a square building, but the inside is circular, which is quite interesting. So yeah, I I'm liking that bit. But what have you talked about most since we've been in here? Food. Yeah. <laughs> And it's so funny because you keep going, are you hungry, Nigel? Would you like a breadstick? Would you like one of your little white rolls? Um, well, should we stop and have a break now? And, and um, are you hungry? And yeah, you and I've not brought anywhere near enough food with us. And you've been coveting, coveting, in, 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 in. you've been looking after people's ice creams and uh -huh. baguettes and all kinds of stuff. So, right, next palace, the palace of the... It's the El Kazabar, which I think is the fortress bit, but hmm. don't quote me on that. I made that up. Never quote us on anything. <laughs> you know that by now. Quite interested to know what everyone's looking at over here. Oh, Nicola can't see anything. It's probably a dog scratching itself. 
or maybe it's the whole British attitude. Whenever we see more than three people standing in an area looking at something, we all have to get involved. Really beautiful views actually over Granada as well. And I think we're going to go higher to get even better views. We may have an update on what everyone's looking at. And all I can see is a very large tree. Apart from that, it's just the same as the other views. And by the way, whenever you were bending over looking at said large tree, all everyone else could see. What? Let's just say there was a bit, bit of a breeze. Well, I think that's us now at the highest point of Alhambra. But the views actually over Granada are stunning. Now, it's quite a, a sort of hazy day today. Really quite densely packed. I'm sure in the, in the summer, summer months, this place is absolutely mobbed, not just the Alhambra, but Granada itself. It's actually unseasonably warm today. I think I read that we're 10 degrees higher than normal. In fact, if we were to visit this time next week, I think it's 10 degrees cooler, so. Right, let's go and see whether Nicola's flashing anyone. Did you notice from up here, there's the tree. Well done, no flashing. Oh, look at that, we're sitting down again. And that must mean food. But I'm pretty sure I heard Nicola order her ice cream and they said they didn't have it. Did they not have your first choice? No. No, I didn't think so. There was a caramel popcorn magnum, Ooh. but no. So I got you the gold caramel billionaire and I've gone for the white chocolate and cookies. No. <laughs> I've actually not gone for my almond, which I normally get, so I'm hoping I've not gone wrong. Now, let's just let them into a little secret. Why do you think you didn't go for almond? Because I know what the almond's like. Or is it because you asked me, could we share? And I said as you left, I don't like almond, so I'm not sharing an almond one with you. Yeah, so if I don't like this, you could share. You see what I mean? Oh, let's get stuck into that bad boy. We have 18 minutes to wolf this time and get into the queue to go perfect. see the palace. I would say that's perfect timing, actually. We've got everything done in a leisurely time. Mm -hmm. um, I could have spent a bit longer in the museum. The museum actually is quite small, but really interesting. I enjoyed that, so worth a visit, and it's free. I well, sat it's not here. free because you paid for your ticket. But. I sat here in below a very nice blossom tree getting lots of pictures. I was going to say, I bet everyone's taking I'm going to be on lots of people's camera rolls now, so I was trying to look my best. Right, munchies. I've already moved on. Yeah, I've already oh. moved on. Back. Yeah. It's got blue mould. That's my uh, cookies. This is your cookies here. Mine's bigger. Mine's actually bigger. Mine's, oh. got, a, mine's got a pimple on it. <laughs> See, after this little ice cream, oh, ice cream head. Mm. Ice cream's consumed, mine won. Yeah, by far. Actually, mine wasn't that good in the end. And now we're queuing up for our three o'clock appointment with a palace. They run a tight ship here, no getting in before three o'clock, despite someone really edging in towards the door. So I'm not quite sure whether we're going to be able to record any footage from in here or not, so Hopefully we will. I don't see anything that says otherwise, but fingers crossed, eh? fingers crossed. We're going in. So backpacks allowed, but on your front, which makes <laughs> filming quite, quite challenging. But at least we actually are able to take some footage in here, which is quite nice. So we're now wearing front packs. The workmanship in some of these uh, smaller bits are just fantastic. But I'm also pretty sure we had these tiles in our kitchen in the 1980s. You know what it's actually got me quite excited for? This view here. Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal. <laughs> now everyone is screaming at the screens going, are you taking your van to India? What? Now that's quite impressive. <laughs> that was probably karma because of what I was just about to say. It's very, very similar to the palace in Seville. And if anything... Controversial comment coming up. I think Seville one's better. I can't comment, I wasn't there. This gets me excited for backpacking around Asia and India. Where did all these people come from? <laughs> It was all very quiet up until about 10 seconds ago. Does this mean it's time to eat again? You're sitting down. <laughs> I think we've discovered a bottleneck. We have. I've also discovered something else about when I come to visit things as well. 
I've just realised because somebody was, they were obviously having a private tour out there and he was talking about the sky meeting the earth and the sun and mirrors and different things. Turns out I'm actually not that interested in the story behind the thing I'm looking at. I just like the buildings. And I never realised before, it's actually maybe the architecture I like rather than the history about it, I don't know. And that's why I don't read anything. Yeah. I just look and wander on. Sorry to be all photo poncy, but the light at the moment is just beautiful. Trying to avoid all of the people is a little bit more challenging, mind you. The rain has started, just as we're about to get chucked out into the gardens. Maybe we'll stay in the palace a little bit longer. You, you almost got taken away by that tour. Not even quite sure what language it was. I'll tell you what though, we're in a front backpack. You really can't see where the stairs start and end. I'm surprised there's not more people falling over. Nicola has now resorted to reading everything to avoid going out into the rain. <laughs> In fact, I think I've lost her. <sighs> Are you reading everything so you don't have to go out into the rain? Best preserved original states room in the whole place. And it was the baths. And they had vents that they could open and close depending on the humidity. There you go. Learn something every day on this channel. Mostly, don't listen to what we say. Bum, 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 bum. Wow. By the way, I've got no idea why I was using bum as my, as my note. But you can probably hear it here, and then as you head back out again. The acoustics there are fantastic. Really bassy, boomy. Lost Nickel again though, mind you. Hello, 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 hello. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Boom, 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 boom. I did what you were doing. Boom, 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 boom. Ah, there you go. Well guys, I think that is our epic tour of the Alhambra coming to a close as we make our way through the gardens. It smells beautiful actually, really nice. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot more to see, but I think we're just at saturation point. I think we're at saturation yeah. point. It's, it's one of those places and, you know, I kind of enjoyed it. It was, it was, it was great, but about an hour and a half ago, I was probably ready to <laughs> sit down and go, Really, Alhambra was quite good. I'm sure people can spend all day here, but I reckon if you give yourself between sort of four and six hours, yeah. including the palace, is probably more than enough. And from a, a review point of view, it is really good, it is. I think, having seen the Seville one, which I really enjoyed, um, I give this between a six and a seven, I think. Just because I think I've seen more beautiful places, but there's nothing wrong with this, it is really good. Um, just not so much my cup of tea. I think what was quite nice was, and obviously during the summer months, I'm sure it's much worse, but even though there seemed to be a lot of people at the, at the entrance, it never seemed that crowded yeah. at all. Um, you always seem to find a little, a little bit of space, but yeah. I don't Actually, know, it wouldn't be any worse in the summer because it was sold out again today. So oh. that is full capacity. There you go. Yeah. So I would probably give it a six as well. Yeah. There we it, go. It's, I mean, I can't remember. I think it was about 30 something pound for the two of us, about 38 pound. Hang on, mate, that's a lot of kick. It is, but it's not bad value for what you've got no. the whole day's um, sightseeing. Yeah, come, come see it, come see it. It is good, it is good, yeah. Right, well, we are going to make our way slowly back to the van, and I guess we'll catch up tomorrow when we have another full day packed in Granada. Oh, I could go a cake and coffee <laughs> and chicken. I just want to be lifted back to the campsite. I'm tired. It's not going to happen, girl. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. Well, good day again, guys. Actually, you finished off yesterday at the Alhambra going to visit the gardens. I did, the general life, or whatever it's called, and it's really worth it. You, uh, you'd had enough, and you, by that point. I went point. and sat outside and chilled out for a little bit. But yeah, the gar there's kind of like this little palacey bit and um, a load of different gardens, and it's really beautiful, and some of the views are amazing, so don't miss it. And after a pretty busy morning work at the campsite, which, by the way, is fantastic, even comes with a couple of resident cats, <laughs> Um, we have brought ourselves back into Granada. It's middle of the afternoon, 
quite humid. And, and I must admit, I'm shattered after yesterday. Yeah, I think, really we're, going, I think we're going to be a little bit more chilled out. Yeah. And if our first sightseeing uh, thing is anything to go by, it's going to be a very <laughs> disappointing day because we were going to be going in here and it's closed. From what I've read about Granada, because I was looking at different things to do, it seems to be based a lot around food. Oh, and which... speaking of which, so yesterday, before we jumped on the bus, we decided to stop for a, for a drink. And they brought out a little platter of, of cheese. No, no great shakes there. Then we just had to get a second drink. And all of a sudden... Chicken wings and chips. Oh. And I asked the girl, is it typical for you to get sort of tapas, free tapas with drinks in Granada? And she said, yes. So that changed our mood completely in terms of coming into Granada. So we've actually had a little bit of a spot of lunch. We're going to tire ourselves out and then go see how many rounds of tapas we can have in Granada. Going well, folks. The next thing on our list to see, switched off, closed off, no access. No water. And also right beside a very weird looking statue. Oh, I don't like that. You and me both, you and me both. It's a rather ornate basilica, I guess, behind us. Ingles Inglesia. Inglesia, oh, there you go. Inglesia. And we are just over a week away from Santa Semana, which is their Easter celebration. In fact, this whole week coming in is going to be quite interesting from our trying to get places to park up. But inside here, you can start to see some of the floats that um, they'll parade throughout the streets. And they're stunning. They're, they're absolutely beautiful. beautiful. Some yeah. of the craftsmanship that goes into them is just incredible. I was actually listening to a lady up in um, the Alhambra yesterday saying about the fact that they really hope that the forecast rains next week hold off because obviously there's been a lot of work that's gone into the, um, to the floats and the last thing they want is that it be rained, rained off. Well, down here, I don't know why I put this on my list, <laughs> but, but it seems to be a little artisan kind of flea bizarre markety, type bizarre thing. type place. Yeah. So, hmm, take them on for the team, folks. Take them on for the team. All right, guys, we have made a joint decision that Nicholas should leave me somewhere for refreshment while she explores this area because, yeah. oh, she almost got hit in the head by a camera. Apparently I stress her out. So I think what we'll do first of all is we'll go and check out some of the viewpoints. There's a viewpoint up here that you get some good views off the Alhambra. And then as I say, Nicola will come back and shop till her heart's content and my belly's full of free tapas. <laughs> Once again, the best way to discover a city is just wander aimlessly. And just one street over, silence. No cars. What a bike! How is this a road? Seriously? Yeah, there's definitely no cars getting up here. Oh, this is really nice. And now, given the fact that we are heading to the Mirador, the viewpoint of the Alhambra, that means we're going up. up, up, up. This is us now arrived at the famous view of the Alhambra, which is where we were yesterday. And we even have a free flamenco show going on by the looks of things. So is that the sort of singing they do with the flamenco dancing? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that would do my head in after a while. It's very noisy, isn't it? <laughs> I've got no cultural intellect at all. Can take her nowhere, hold me back to say sorry. Lo siento. Are you glaring at people's food as well, Mike? No, no, I was just have a look at the view from the restaurant. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, it's, it's interesting for like 10 minutes and then, um, not the view, the singing. And then <laughs> I'm kind of like... I've said this, I think, on this channel a couple of times. <laughs> I'm amazed I have lasted so long in her life <laughs> because this one here gets bored <laughs> so easily. It's a full-time job keeping her entertained. I do like old ruined castles, so maybe that's why he's still around. We are flying solo now. Nicola has gone off to do a bit of retail therapy and I'm just going to wander the streets, collect a little bit more footage, and generally just chill out. We did just stop for a um, refreshment, 
and a very nice little bit of uh, tapa was consumed. The saltiest pork I think I've had in my life. They, they're on to something there. So have really salty foods, olives and pork loin and things like that. They make you drink more. God bless the tapas and all who eat there. Oh my goodness me. Nicholas missing out, wandering around samey samey shops. Order a beer and wonderful tapas comes out as well. Let's all move to Granada. I never have to cook again. <laughs> One of those tapas places that you never want to end, but it had to end because all of a sudden we might be missing our last bus. <laughs> Which one's are we? Are we the white one? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh no, I need to get to the white spot, don't I? Oh, hang on. Go on, girl. Go on, girl. We can do it. We can do it. So how do we get to this bit here? Uh, how do we get here? How do I walk to there? God damn you, bus driver. You saw us coming. Yeah, you could have stopped. Wait. And now we've got to wait nearly an hour. <sighs> Tapas? That was not on. Morning guys. We'll be right with you. We're just getting a bit of toast on the go. I'm not quite sure what's going on with this peanut butter. It's a bit... You see that? It's a bit gloopy. My jam's a bit gloopy too. Oh dear. Everything's gloopy. But it is gin and tonic. Oh, and there's lots of movement going on. <laughs> Tell you what that would be nice through. Ice cream. Mm. Peanut butter and jelly. Jam. Peanut butter and jelly. We're not in America. Just like Zed's called Zed and not Z. Restrooms, sidewalk, tomato. Mm. I think that's um, classified as clean in the van. And gloopy or not, that's damn good. A lot of zombies kicking around the campsite this morning. Including me. Didn't really go very far, did it? By the way, this is probably a good example as to how quickly Nicola eats. So we both had the same <laughs> volume of toast, and here I am still halfway through my second bit. It's because you talk so much. <laughs> good boy. Slap my head, Benny Hill style. <laughs> Well guys, that is us finished in the Alhambra and in Granada. We are just, well, a couple of hours away from packing up and hitting the road. I've got another bit of work to do before we leave, as usual. As usual, a little bit of work to do, we both do actually. But no, Granada's been really good. I mean, glad we came here for the Alhambra. Free tapas in Granada was an added bonus. And actually walking around the city last night, um, you look, oh, it was nice. You look like you're about to say something <laughs> profound. No, I was just uh, about to say, actually the tapas was really good, mm. really good. We went to, um, is it called uh, Buena Vida? The Good Life, I presume that translates as. And mm. yeah, you get to choose from about, I don't know, 12 different tapas? Mm. Or 20, or quite a lot anyway. And it was yeah. really, really good food. Really good. In fact, they have two bars, I think, because the one we were going to go into, the one I was in earlier, was packed. But she says, oh, our partner's going to come and take us to the different one. And sure enough, you just pick and yeah. choose what, what, what you want. And it was like, we had three beers and it was nine euros. And the amount of food we had, yeah. I didn't even need to eat again. So that's saying something. There you go. And in fact, the little village we're heading to next, not quite sure whether when that will appear on the blog. Um, apparently it's a tapas village <laughs> as well. Whether or not you're there, they're free tapas. It's yeah. not why we're going, <laughs> but there is a castle which sold it to me because I actually wanted to go to one with animals. There was another place we could go and there was farm animals, but I got overruled for the tapas. But then once I knew there was a castle there, I, I kind of got a bit more sold on the idea. There you go. Right guys, well, we are going to pack up. And um, once again, thanks a lot for following along our little bimbles around Granada. And I guess until next time, I'm still eating my toast. I can't wave left-handed. I can't wave at all, really, look. <laughs> I need more tea. Most sensible thing you've said all morning. Right, guys, thanks a lot for following along, and until next time, take care. Adios.